Okay, this is part three of the smart software demonstration. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on the smart notebook response questioning techniques and uh, how you can use that and how the students can uh, use their own netbooks to answer questions that you've created. So instead of using the Senio clickers or the Senio response clickers that were put out there before, they can go at their own pace on their own netbooks. Okay. So, to start out, I'm in SmartSync 2011 right now. I have a class signed in. This is not actually a necessary part of using the Smart Response system, but uh, I just want to have this up so I can show you their screens and show you what they're seeing um, throughout this process. So, uh, the first place to start is to go down to the taskbar and click on the Smart Response icon that's on your taskbar. The first place you're going to go in this list is underneath configure devices you're going to want to go into setup tool okay? and you want to make sure that you selected smart notebook SE so it's looking for the netbook version and that it's not looking for the response clickers as you can see there are a whole list of other options to choose from as well so it's already set so we don't need to change that All right. Now that we have that, we actually want to open up our teacher tools again, or the response uh, set there. We want to go into teacher tools. So let's open that up. Okay. Now, I'm uh, already logged in in anonymous mode, but usually the screen that you will see when you log in for the first time will be this. So you can just fill in these fields here, click save and it's going to give you your own class to set up. So let's actually just go through and do that process right now. So we already have one here. Let's replace that. Okay. All right. Now that I'm logged in, if you just uh, you can create a class later on and uh, add them in individually, and I can show you that later. But right now, I'm just going to go into anonymous mode and hit start class. Okay. Now the students are going to be given an option to actually log in. So I'm going to go to the screen down here, and as you can see, this is when they open up the, their notebook version, the student edition. They're going to have to connect to a class right here. It's going to show them my name and that I'm in anonymous mode. And when they double click on that, then it's going to assign them in. Let's just do that right now. Okay. okay. And it says that it's signed in. So I'm going to get the rest of you guys to sign into my class right now if you could do that in your smart notebook software. Okay. Once the students are logged into your class in anonymous mode, you can open up Smart Notebook and actually hit Start This Assessment Now. Now you have to click on the Smart Response icon on the side. There are numerous tabs here. One, this just shows you the slides with all the questions in it. This is your gallery. And the bottom tab here is your Smart Response tab. So we're going to click uh, Start This Assessment Now and that's going to send that out to all the students. So let's just take a look at their screens right now. And we can see that it's popping up on all their screens. So we're going to borrow the students right here and run with that. Okay, so this is the practice test. We hit the forward arrow and we get the first question. Is St. John the oldest incorporated city in Canada? And these are your options. So they just select the one they feel is the correct answer. It'll check it off. And then move on to the next question. Okay. Who was the captain for the Memorial Cup winning Sea Dogs team? Mike Thomas said the kid. Jonathan Huberdeau or Fleaburn? And the mascot? Uh, let's say Fleaburn. And how many Sea Dogs games will you be attending this year? We'll just double click up here where it says type your answer and say 30. Okay. 
move on to the next one. Will the Sea Dogs repeat the Memorial Cup performance this year? Uh, possibly. And let's go to the last question. Should St. John have been given the job to host the Memorial Cup this year? No way. Of course. Where is Shawinigan? And definitely. Let's go to definitely. Okay. Now once the student has completed, all they have to do is click finish. And then that sends their responses to you. So let's go back into the notebook. Four of seven students have finished. So we're just going to stop the blitz now. Normally we wait for all the students to finish. We're going to stop the blitz now and look at the results. We can go through all the results for each individual question. And you can change this to a bar chart or you can go back and look at the overall results again. I'll also show you the students that skipped it and these are the kids that didn't finish. So uh, this is just a simple overview of how to use it. There are some more features which uh, I will be going into on a later uh, video but for now this is just the starting tutorial to using smart response as a uh, for them to use it on the netbooks.